Hello my dearies, hello wonderful people of Ebony State. This is the maiden edition of Project Hour on EBBC Soul Television, Abakaliki. I am your host, Evelyn Aligwe. The program promises to be informative, educative, and of course, enlightening. I just want you to join us to the street to find out the numerous things that this wonder-working governor of Ebony State has done. Let's go there. The hallmark of every responsible government is to increase the happiness index of the people. It also strives to attend to the needs of the people in every way. This underscores why the present government in Ebony State, led by engineer David Nweze Omahi, on assumption of office, took the bull by the horn to change the face of the capital city. One of the projects that has greatly changed the status of Abakliki capital city is the Ofiawale flyover at the old Presco Junction. The flyover was designed in 2015 in a step to realize the promise made to Ebony people by Governor David Nweze Omahi on the day of the inauguration of his administration in May 29, 2015. The Flyover Bridge project was awarded precisely on June 2015 as a seven-span overhead bridge. The question now is, why did the government take this project as a priority? Two major reasons answer this question. It was actually one of the most dirtiest uh, junctions uh, before the, the, this administration came on board. And the uh, hoodlums used to stay within that area to, you know, uh, rob people coming from, um, uh, coming into the town from Oncha, especially during the festive periods. Uh, because of that, the government had to, you know, design, design a befitting uh, roundabout as you can see, and they built a befitting flyover. The flyover actually was designed for seven span, uh, seven span bridge. But um, when His Excellency traveled and came back, he decided to change the design from seven span to 23 spans, running from one apartment to the other. Uh, it is a 23 span flyover bridge, or I think uh, one of the uh, longest bridge in the east, and with uh, it, um, ancillary works you know, the bypass road going towards uh, the, uh, the campus, Prescott campus, as it used to be called, and into the estate, uh, going into Iza Road, and the other one towards Enugu, with two other bypass by the side, and the one coming towards um, Akanibam. Uh, there is what we look at once you are entering into a capital city. Your man will tell you that you have entered a capital city. So, and uh, before you can come inside Abakaliki and pass without knowing that you are passing through a capital city. But now, anybody that is driving inside this place, immediately you reach at that bridge. You don't even need to be told that you have reached the capital city, if not for any other thing. So it has given a bunny a new face and a new look. So and that is what a good leader will always look at. So how do people, because the clothes you wear at times helps to tell people whom you are, the way you dress and the way your home look like. So that uh, for me, the major aim why he did that is number one, we need it. And number two, the state capital is supposed to reflect the state capital. And, uh, you see that uh, junction, we have our university by the side. And the uh, people accident has been going on there. We've been having casualties, people going to school. So before you know it, there will be a collide. If not a Okada, it will be a vehicle. But now that there is fly over there, People coming from in will now climb and pass without having anything to do with people going to school. We can see that traffic, we have this congested traffic on that junction. 
to for his movement for ascetic nature and for every other thing you can think of to boost the state capital so there is nothing that that bridge cannot be associated with work on the flyover was fast and steady it went on a surprising way that the status of the once dirty and accident prone junction began to change at the completion of the seven span bridge the project was redesigned to a 23 span flyover bridge to enhance the beauty and effectiveness of the project the flyover is actually a beauty to be behold you know people as you enter into the state uh, a view will actually you know show you where we are going because we have vision to uh, modernize this town not only Bakaliki capital city but the state in general and then uh, praying god that the funds will be available for us to achieve what we have in mind for the Bonny State. We want to actually make sure that um, within the eight years that His Excellency will be on seat, that uh, Abakaliki Ebony State will be one of the cities that people within Africa will come to reside and, and, and it will be a tourist city. The construction of the project lasted for one and a half years. It was officially completed on November 2017. Part of the beautification introduced to standardize the project was a modern water fountain under the flyover. Also, synthetic grasses and design barricades added to the aesthetics of the project. The Ophiamwale flyover was formally inaugurated on November 14, 2017, during the visit of President Muhammad Buhari to Ebony State. That uh, aesthetically, this is more beautiful because we have less returning water here, and uh, it's still 700 meter length of uh, twin bridges, uh, named after Dr. Senator Ophiamwale. The first, uh, uh, the first um, republic uh, senator in the Bonny State. So we invite Your Excellency to please commission the bridge. Senator Dr. Ophia Wiley, Nai Oba Bridge of Akadiki, constructed by His Excellency Engineer David Wilson, Umahi, FNSE, FNATE. Now, the first one I know is what is the second one? I see technology. You see, even you, you have to start. <laughs> okay, and the commission by somebody from Canada State. <laughs> Today, the Ophiamwale flyover stands tall to receive any commuter passing by or visiting Abakliki capital city. It provides relaxation for people who are very happy with the project. Hey, 
I'm an MC student. My course is mass communication. By the grace of God, but Dave is trying for a boy state. For him to build this mail, for him to repair this mail, shows that students journey, students crossing of the mail road is sure, no accident. As you can see, we are enjoying here. Yeah, even the first of the years, we are enjoying it. The cool, the conducive, the cool environment, the conducive environment, by the grace of God, but Dave is trying for a boy state. These are not alone in being happy about the project. Because every Ebony person is happy with this flyover. Hence the craving for the sustenance of the government of Engineer David Nweze Omahi. The administration has more in store for Ebony people. Let me now hand over to my colleague Njide Kamwale at the hilltop end of the Abakliki town for another life touching project. Let me add that the about two bridges on this road, is it? Three. 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 Yeah. It's not part of the contract that is uh, given because the cost would have been unmanageable. So the ministry and the government will sit down together and talk. You know, maybe the contractor may do one and the, the ministry will do the other one. But they will all be going on at the same time. Thank you. Deputy Governor Speaker, yes. The land belongs to us in Jesus' name. Our own. Water is and if you have every other spirit that is in oppression, we put you in bondage in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes, because the Lord says that He's given us power to dominate, and therefore we dominate Amen. by reason of this land. Amen. We lay this foundation stone, and many more foundation stones shall we lay, not just roads, buildings airports, Amen. and so many other beautiful things. Amen. You bring prosperity to the land of the people, you bring grace to the land of the people, Amen. and to the people of Abony State. Amen. When we shall come for a, a rally again, yes, for our 2019, we will ply this road, Amen. and then the people will be happy. Amen. We have laid this foundation story in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. The hilltop Abaja Mofi Road is one of the virgin roads on rigid concrete pavement being constructed by the government of engineer David Mweze Umahi. It is a 23.5 kilometer road that links Abakaliki Metropolis to Mofi in Izi local government area. It is also one of the best roads constructed by the government. The road before the inception of the present administration was in a very bad state and test. Road users and residents of that area had it very sore. Respite came when in 2016, Governor David Mweze Umahi gave attention to the project. It was like a dream as earth moving machines started at work 
on the road. Some thought it was not a reality, but in few months, the concrete rigid pavement started. The road has been progressing very well. So it is our intention that uh, that job will be um, completed and commissioned by May 25th this year, this year. So that is that job is supposed to uh, last for three years because of uh, a lot of challenges. It was actually a virgin road. Uh, a virgin road uh, has never been any construction on that road before now. We opened up the road, a massive network. The hilltop Abajan Wofe Road has two number two spam bridge across the Ebia River. The river has been a dead trap for people using the road in the past. Many have been drowned in it. The Commissioner for Works and Transport, Engineer Fidelis Mwese, gave insight into other aspects of the project. You know, and then two number two spam bridges built along that uh, 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 road, 15 meter and to that 30 meters, two number two spam bridges, and the number of covert bus coverts, about seven of them, and uh, about 23, uh, 23 rain coverts along that road. I told you it's a virgin road uh, constructed, but it's one of the best routes uh, 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 built by this administration. And um, the, the construction uh, period is supposed to last for three years, but I think within two years now, it is just two years. And by two years, two months, that, that job will be completed and fully handed over. And government is paying certificates, we are not paying the contractor. The, actually, the contractor is doing well. And we are happy with the speed of work. The quality of work is superb. Today, the solid structure of the road is being appreciated by everyone using the road. How long can this road last? Well, the answer lies with the expert that know the composition of the road. It's a solid road and it's going to last and it will serve the people. We actually know what we want. We, we came on a divine mandate and uh, it is not by the inspiration of a mind or man that we are working. We are working by God's inspiration and directives. So we continued without um, listening to the criticism that came through the press because we actually, as engineers, His Excellency is a fellow of the Nigerian Society of Engineers. I'm a member anyway. And uh, with our practical experience in the field of engineering, we actually knew that rigid pavement is the best for the Bonny States considering the nature of uh, our soil, which uh, is, uh, is bad. And uh, that road, Mkaliki Road, it's three years old now, you know, and still standing. Uh, this is a road that previous administration could not do. The House of Assembly, I think they, most of the times, they, they go to look for alternative route to go to the House, and the DDC will follow Baosa to go to their office. But today, you are cruising and you are enjoying the road. So every road has its own uh, lifespan, like the heat of Mofe Road. It's going to last for uh, minimum 50 years with little or no maintenance. Every engineering structure will actually have maintenance, but the, 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 the maintenance of this particular road will be little. Uh, but can you now appreciate this wonderful project? A drive through the road will help you admire the road project. Give it a try and you will surely raise thumbs up for the administration of engineer David Nwese Umahi. But before then, let us take a tour of Osana Park, New Market Road and other adjoining streets round the Abakaliki main market.
Tony Ukwome is on standby at this project site. Tony. One of the major indices that could be used to evaluate any given place is the status of its motor parks. The Hosanna Motor Park is as old as a Bakliki town, but prior to 2015 was in a distasteful state. It was practically in a putrefying state that any visitor Landing in Abakliki, especially during the rainy season, right off the city. Not only the park, its surrounding roads and business areas were in very bad state. That also threatened the health of the people. Few months after the inauguration of the government of engineer David Mweze Umahi, Things started to change for the better. For the park and its surroundings, the streets and the adjoining roads. Yeah, the Osama Park, the Osama Street, the new park and the old park, and the new market road. You know, when we came on board 2015, we, we visited that park. All of us live in Abakaliki and we know the terrain of this city very well. We know what the people want and we know the challenges facing the people. We, we didn't come from the moon. Uh, so the government saw it as priority to make, because the essence of government is to make life easy for the people, to bring, you know, dividends of democracy. You know, to build roads, bring uh, infrastructure development, and empower the people. You know, that is what government is all about. So we have to see the challenges of the people. We have to immediately arrest the decaying condition of that Hosanna Park, um, gone in road, um, uh, Hosanna Street, New Market Road. We moved into action immediately to construct that road. And uh, I think that construction took us about six months and we com less than six months, four months and we com completed that construction. And these parks and roads, uh, I don't think they have ever, ever received any touch of government since the inception of this, uh, in, in, in the, the creation of a point state. I think it was during the East Central State that something was done within that uh, location. And the people were suffering. And you can see, you know, the people, the people are, ha when they saw us, you know, in the park, they actually noticed that these people are serious people and they were supportive. You know, they were supportive, you know, shifting their shops and we did the construction in, 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 in liaison with the, even the market authorities and the, 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 the leadership of the Osana Park, uh, the Eco Park, and um, yeah, for the, the, the meat market. And uh, you will agree with me equally that um, the, the um, outbreak of cholera started from the meat market in 2015. Because the meat market was a dump. It was too bad. So this government is a responsive government. It's a government that has the plight of the people at heart. The government that will see what the people need and will go for it to give them uh, such. So the meat market today, it's standing, the Gunning Road, the uh, Ozana Park and Ozana Street, and the people are happy with government. And they have all pledged to support His Excellency's B-2019-2023. All of them. And all of them have come to collect their PVC to vote for this government. This park, that has never received the attention of successive governments since the creation of the state, utterly changed in four months when Governor David Mweze Omahi turned his attention to it. The park was overlaid with asphalt. 
making it modern and the toast of commuters and transporters as well as businesses around it. Thanks to our dear governor, Junior Chief David Mwezomari, who knows the plight of his people. So number one thing is to have the people and number two is to know their needs. We actually know the need and when he come on board, he thought it as one of the first projects that he will go into. And uh, from what we are seeing today, the difference is clear. So from nowhere to somewhere, from a road that we think that cannot be assessed, now it is easily assessed. People trading there are now happy. Like if it is in the past four years or three years, let me say, nobody would like to be there during Hamatan. Even rainy season, nobody would like to pass there. But today, if you go there, it's very motorable and habitual. People around it is very happy and it's a very friendly environment as far as today is concerned. You can see he now put up gutter, which what we call the line drains, so that when during rain, all the water that is coming will now collect at that line drain and they are channeled to the main drain where they will be taken off. So it is easily discharged. The adjoining roads and streets we are completely reconstructed by the government on concrete pavement to make the road withstand the pressure of heavy duty trucks bringing in goods to the market. Commerce and trade around the area thrive more today. The executive government yeah, is in fact, it's doing more than expected. This new market road, every time uh, you have falling uh, fall of motors, bascoros, uh, uh, or, or and the uh, ballot pushers. But now, uh, my brother, we're enjoying it. And very, very smooth and uh, good and fine. May God bless the governor. For example, now, people are fearing this new market road because there's no parking space. But now, Look at the left and right, cars, lollies, trailers, because the road is much level. I will be the moon man, Kuku. In short, everybody in there will be the hammer. Before, before, I don't have a good job. I will look up at it. Now, what is in the mud? Manakita. It is so quite a bow also. He needed a gun coma. My co gun, how about the napity? Then I was one I have a hammer, but was also. Manakita had to flee, but I was one I. We thank God for the new government that came into existence. You can see by me looking even the road and other things this government is doing, they are doing well. There is small customers, trucks can park very well at the road and do offload and leave. And the buyers are coming with their vehicles so that they packed and buy things and put into their vehicle and still go out again. Apart from these projects, there are other new ones in stock for the people. Well, Njide Kamwale has the detail on two of the new projects that residents of Abakliki expect to enjoy in a few months from now. The government of engineer David Mweze Umahe springs surprises to the people of Ebony State. These surprises come in various ways. One of such surprises, a new project, the government has lined up for the people. For the purpose of today's episode of Project R, we are focusing on two of such projects. One is the flyover tunnel that will serve as a bypass to the ecumenical center and modern shopping mall and the ongoing Afrasina Street Road. Late last year, His Excellency uh, called for design of um, a bypass from Afrasina Street to Mkaliki, Mkaliki Street in Abakaliki Metropole within the Akanibiam flyover and equally a, a flyover bridge from the bypass into the shopping mall 
you, 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 you already are aware that government is building one of the best shopping malls in Nigeria within the Akanibiam Junction. So we need to fly into the world to make life easy for people so that to reduce traffic congestion within the area. So that is a new project that we have commenced. The awards have been, we, have award, we awarded that project this January, you know, the, the, the uh, contractors are already on site working. The retaining walls are coming up, the pilings are the, the going on, the pipe caps are ongoing. And um, although it is, the projects are supposed to last for uh, one year, one year, and, and the other one, one year, six months, but um, with the speed of construction, I think the project will be completed within eight months. The tunnel project was flagged off by President Muhammad Buhari during his official visit to Ebony State in November. It will provide an alternative route to the Ecumenical Center, a modern shopping mall. <laughs> Thank you.